This was from Hinge. He liked my picture. I said, sup, with his name. I'm going to block that out here. He says, screw YouTube. You're trying to get on you porn. I said, what? I will take my time to meet you. If I don't feel comfortable, do not try to make me feel like I'm selfish for not wanting to meet you. Because I promise you, I don't. And I'm sure these guys would be way more willing to meet you because it's easier to f you after they meet you. But that is not my thing. I need to make sure that it's not all you're after. And 80%, 85%, 90% of men on this planet, period, that's what they want. Especially right now in our age range. Idols, it's CC Lesson 3. Welcome back to my channel. So, for today's video, we are going to do the requested part two of the DMs from Pervy Korean Guys video. Yeah. Another one. Now, the twist is these are actually newer. Uh, the ones I did in the last video were from like 2017, 2018, 2019. Some of these are also mixed from that time period, but a good amount actually happened to me while I was in quarantine. So before we begin, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Now Skillshare is my favorite online learning community because it has helped me get a lot better with my conversational Korean. It's a good way to fill up your downtime so you feel productive. You're going to learn new skills. There's cooking, photography, writing, animation, editing, video production. I've been learning a lot about Korean culture too. There's even this really cool learning Korean through K-pop. So the BTS fans out there, this might make y'all a little more interested. Learning like punctuation and how to sound natural when speaking has been my biggest struggle. So if you're like me and you want to join this community, first 1,000 people to click the link in the description box below, you get free access to a premium trial. For the annual subscription, it's less than $10 a month anyway. So try it out, enjoy it for free if you like it, which I'm sure you will. Then uh, proceed to pay less than $10 a month for it. So let's get back into the video. I don't know what that was. Swing and a miss. First of all, I will say the major difference that I have noticed from being in Korea now as opposed to like two years ago, Tinder is literally garbage. Exhibit A through infinity. Like I really honestly wonder, does this work? Like does this genuinely, pull for the ladies. If you see messages like this, on these dating apps or whatever online does it prompt you to respond and go okay like I, I genuinely want to know if this works for them because I don't get why they keep trying it I, for science let me know in the comments your reaction to this type of prompt and to these types of messages my recommendation would be to not even bother with tinder at this point I have actually spent a lot of time on bumble as of late bumble's actually been pretty lit but um all right so here's one that was a little sus you know, in Bubble, girls respond first, right? So I sent a GIF, and this happens to be the WhatsApp thing. So then the GIF, you can't see it in the screenshot, but it's like this guy in a red car, and he like swerves up, and it's all this dust, and it's like extra, and then he just goes, sup. So I said, ha ha, wow, smooth. And this was over Lunar New Year. So I said, seje bog mani pariseo. He said, eh, seje bog mani pariseo, kukukuku. So then he goes smooth enough to kiss me or something, with a kissy emoji, the side emoji, and LOL, I just said no and then he unmatched me, so. I'm mean to guys, like I fully acknowledge that it kinda is what it is. Okay, so, you know, I like to be like the humbler in chief. I consider myself quite the humbler, it's like my job. So some guy, on this is on Hinge, you know uh, there's like prompts that you can respond to on Hinge. So this dude said that he could like tell the fortune or tell your future. So I said, what's my fortune, Ella? What's gonna happen tomorrow? So he says, well today you're gonna get a message from a devilishly handsome Asian man. And I said, when? Oh! Alright, and this one. Oh boy. There's this one on OkCupid. And again, these are recent, like, so this was like while I was in quarantine. So I said, Your profile is confusing. He says, Hey, beautiful, why confusing? For those who don't know OkCupid, it's like you have like a questionnaire and they try to match you through your response to that. And it says, like, What are your priorities right now? And it's like love, sex, things like that. So this dude said sex, but it was contradicting because in his prior, prior, I said profile and bio. On his profile, it said um, he wanted a meaningful relationship. So I was asking about that when I said, you said you want a pleasant, meaningful relationship, which is good, which is why I swiped. But it also says you're only looking for sex. So I didn't want to match you. There's contradictions, but you changed it because he changed the, the sex thing. Moved it to um, like love. Then he goes, 
so do you want to have sex? I said no. My profile is in English and Korean saying no sex SMH. So then he shares me a link. It says asking 1000 girls for sex, Tinder experiment, whatever. So then he says, 저도 이거 보고 따라한 거예요? 그냥 궁금했어. Sorry, you are a YouTuber. I said, is that why all Korean guys ask the same perverted questions to foreigners? Bye. I'm sure a lot of people can relate when you don't hear from a person for an extended period of time and then they suddenly are going through their old contacts or old pictures or they see you on Instagram or whatever the case may be and they suddenly decide, oh, I think I want to talk to you again. So here's one in particular. He goes, hi. I said, hi, who are you? He says, we met on Tinder, haha. I said, I haven't been on Tinder in a long time. That's how I knew we had not talked in forever because I used Tinder back in 2019 in Korea. I have not been swiping over there, here. <sighs> he said, same if you are single. I said, I'm sorry, but why are you messaging me now? Suddenly, he said, I want to date you. I was busy for studying. You are really my type. I said, I don't even remember you. I'm sorry. So he sent me a picture. I said, I don't know you. I never met you. Haha, <laughs> we can get to know each other. Where do you live? If you guys saw my last one, you know how annoyed I get when people keep asking, when men keep asking me where I live. So I said, I'm not interested in dating someone who randomly hits me up from Tinder years later. No, thank you. He said, not years. We met a few months later, I guess. I said, I never met you. He said, so let's meet. No, thanks. Crying hmm. emoji. When did you match me? I don't know, a few months ago, I guess, because I deleted a few months ago. It's been at least a year since I talked with a Korean person on Tinder. You may have me confused with someone else. Hmm, I don't know. I don't even remember when I used Tinder. I thought it's like a few months ago and I got bored so I deleted them all. And I am not seeing anyone right now. I said, well, goodbye, lol. I don't like when people randomly message me after a year. He said, and I saw you on my friends list and was like, wow, she is so pretty and started talking with you. Which I don't know how, what friends list he's talking about because it's not Kakao because we're not friends on Kakao. Like it, it says it right here. I said, yeah, a lot of guys say that after a long time and they suddenly want to talk, but I don't like that so I'm not interested. Okay, but I'm not like that. Please trust me. If we call or meet, you will know. Can you please stop messaging me? Okay, I'm not in Korea right now anyway. I haven't been since last November. That's how I know it's been over a year since we matched. Mm, okay, that was the 13th, December 13th, 2020. Then Thursday, January 28th, 2021, he goes, hi. I said, who are you? And I knew who he was because I still had the conversation saved. Like I didn't delete it yet. So he said, we met on Tinder, I guess. Are you still in Korea? Like he started the whole spiel over again. <laughs> like. Up to this point, I probably seem like a real bitch. And I know I can be, especially two dudes. Like, I don't trust any of them. And then I didn't feel bad anymore. Then he goes, are you still in Korea? I said, wait, are you the same guy I asked not to message me again? Did you? I don't remember. If you don't want, I will not talk to you. Bye. I said, bye. And that was the end of that. So then this other dude, this was from Hello Talk, but we started talking on Kakao. And this is in 2019. So he goes, he's talking about his height. And I said, okay, LOL. Cause you know, they love to brag when they're tall. So I said, when will you be free this weekend? He says, um, maybe, I'm not sure, like in the middle of the night. I said, we can't meet then. He says, because, okay. And then I never heard from him again. Why would you assume or think that we'd be meeting in the middle of the night? So this was on Hello Talk. And a lot of you guys were like, oh, but if you're on dating sites, what do you expect? Hello Talk is legit a language exchange app. It's meant for people trying to learn each other's language. That's what it's for. But you get a lot of these messages too. So this dude was feeling some type of way because I prefer to talk with you online for at least a week or two before we just go up and meet. Like, don't message me and ask me what I'm doing tomorrow and suggest that we meet tomorrow because that's never going to happen. So this dude would not understand that. So he sent like 30 messages back to back. He goes, okay, but I'm not passionate to talk about everything here. If I get a coffee with you and talk in a day, if this is intention or something, just don't meet a person and just meet a person here until you will get to know a person. I know you had bad experience before, but don't think all people do such a creepy person. I'm not deserved to be a fuck of such a fuck of guy. It's feel bad. Good night. If you feel bad about that, I'm sorry. At least I told my age our ages on hello talk anyway bye and i think you really 
think of only yourself, not to other person. I said a couple things. One, I don't like coffee. Two, the way you're acting now, I know I don't want to meet you. Three, it was nice chatting, but bye. This is exactly why I don't meet people from these sites. I will take my time to meet you. If I don't feel comfortable, do not try to make me feel like I'm selfish for not wanting to meet you. Because I promise you, I don't. And I'm sure these guys would be way more willing to meet you because it's easier to f you after they meet you. But that is not my thing. I need to make sure that it's not all you're after. And 80%, 85%, 90% <laughs> of the men on this planet, period. That's what they want, especially right now in our age range. And this one was one from me for it's not overtly pervy, but there's a lot of like suggestive language in this. I said, Yomo Jareo? He said, no, I am bad. I said, oh, Hankoko Jamateo. Oki, then okay, I have translator. I said, how can we be friends if we can't communicate? He said, we can talk, we can with body language. I like that, two hard eye emojis. So I just said goodbye. This was from Hinge. He liked my picture. I said, sup with his name. I'm going to block that out here. He says, screw YouTube. You're trying to get on you porn. I said, what? And this one was uh, a DM I got on Instagram. It said, do you have a boyfriend at the moment? Then a few hours later, why are you so light for a black person? Are you lying? Yeah, I don't like when strangers call me sexy or hot. Um, because when you use words like that, it kind of just shows me you are only interested in one thing. Exhibit B. He said that his mantra was could be worse. I said very true lol. Then he invited me to a chat. But like you can invite someone to chat or you can just say hi and start the chat. So he invited me. I said didn't want to say hi. He said are you a campfire because you're hot and I want some more. So I sent in some dots. And I said has that one worked for you? He said all the time. Why you always lying? Mm, oh my god. Stop fucking lying. So I said not this time. Now this one I showed before in another video, but it's a classic. Can't resist. This was on me. Hi, with like the sad emoji, tears. I said, I'm sorry, how are you? Bored and lonely, I need your cuddle. So I said, um, he said, you want? I said, no. So he didn't like a emoji. And he said, I want to kiss you. Do you like to drink? And I said, I'm going to stop you right there. <laughs> I'm going to end this one on a not so negative note. This was actually um a cute one, I guess. So. Um, with a single still, you capture a marble frame beauty, a true gem, blur out their name, pleasure. Wow, that's a unique intro, so flattering, thank you. He said, thank you for the inspiration, lovely, happy new year. How is your week treating you? I said, meh, so far it's okay, I guess, LOLU. Pretty good, never hurts to be chatting with a beautiful woman. You are so striking, would you mind me asking what your ethnic background is? I'm black, LOL, who doesn't love a black beauty? And it's sad. Normally when I tell people that I'm black, I don't hear from them again or they'll just unmatch me. So yeah, that one I kept because I wasn't so used to that type of response. But this was on OkCupid okay back in like 2019. So I'm not gonna lie, doing these types of videos kind of make me feel weird because again, I'm not trying to like drag men, but y'all make it too easy. <laughs> y'all be saying this rude, just straight, out of pocket stuff and then what are we supposed to do just ignore it and pretend it never happened like no we need to y'all need everybody needs to do better okay so these are just some of the weird messages i've gotten you know and i have nice ones too nowhere near as many but i do have nice ones too like for example i've only been free to roam in korea for like two weeks i got here you know two weeks quarantine two weeks in the real world i've had a lot more pleasant experiences like i've been talking to two very normal guys so far they're always nice and normal at first so i don't want to make it seem like everything is super negative but online you do see this all the time where they just want to hook up and even koreans own up to that's how they see foreigners like it's like a known thing they see foreigners for fun Ow. so thanks for watching if you did remember to like comment share and subscribe and i will see you guys next time Annyeong.